Today, I don't know how many of you guys actually remember this, but this was the reveal for the Xbox, and it's very important for today's video. Today's video is about Forza Horizon 5 and how it may actually be coming out very, very soon. Super big thanks to everybody that supported the previous video. You guys smashed it. And if you want to see more Forza Horizon 5 news, including the trailer and everything when it drops, because we're pretty sure it's coming, be sure to smash like, subscribe, it would help me out a lot. So you're probably wondering, how is this significant? You may remember, this is actually a really old video. It actually dropped in December when the console actually came out. But the community, after I made the video, said, uh, we may have actually seen some Forza Horizon 4 teasers back all the way here, which would make sense. There's actually a lot of stuff being formed here, but I, I like, I, I want to be clear. This is just kind of possibility, but it seems a lot of things are aligning. There's not only this footage to go through. So straight away, you can see a very Mexico deserty esque area being formed. And I don't think it gets clearer than this. What other game could that have been? Of course, there could have been motorsport, but no. There is no off-roading in motorsport. Of course, now we're going over to football. Blah, blah, football. Blah, blah, blah. I want to get, I want to give both sides of this argument. Of course, this also shows Halo, which is very clearly the same environment. But you can imagine Halo having very similar environments. We've already seen gameplay of Halo. We already knew FIFA was coming out every bloody year. There is a Forza game tease here. There is nothing else. It is not possible for it to be anything else. We get another shot of it right here showing us, again, a car driving through the desert. What else could it be? I'm going to be real. It's showing the generic three games, a racing game, an FPS, and also football, FIFA. It just makes sense. It hits all targets, but that's Forza. This is clearly a desert. It has got the cactuses everywhere. And then it shows the water because the Xbox trailer is about the water and all that stuff. But like, we missed this. Quite frankly, we missed this at the launch of the console. I can't believe we did, to be honest with you. Like, I just assumed, oh, car falls out there and doing a new falls again. We all thought at this point that Motorsport was coming out still. Well, it's not. They knew. They were working on something. The Forza Horizon updates have stopped. That's another thing is adding to the pile. And not only that, we got a brand new leak that uh, may just tick it over to that yeah it's probably going to happen shout out to my boy Corey over on the my bed just doing my news this is our news website if you know it's a thing he posts appreciate him so much anyway so he has came across a leak which i'm pretty sure you guys have already seen now i'm gonna be real a lot of these look really stupid we've got, we've got this Porsche right here and we got you and we got an a-class mercedes which to be fair a-class Mercedes have grown in, like, popularity with A-class Mercedes is insane recently. So anyway, we got an idea of what new vehicles could be coming and what flavor. Anyway, it's a desert. Now, a lot of people are saying it is actually looking like this is just the desert background from one of the tracks from Forza Motorsport. But it doesn't say Motorsport. I mean, it's going to take up a lot less effort to just change the car and keep the background if it fits the next game as well. And these are not releasing until September. What else? Could this mean? I mean, they could just be releasing Forza Horizon cars randomly in September, three years after the game came out. It don't make sense. With no desert. We don't have deserts in the UK. We have chavs and more chavs. Chavettes, maybe, yeah. But I can tell you from experience, the only desert in Forza Horizon was the last game. And the last game was even longer. I mean, five years, four, five years ago, which is pretty mad to think about. So this, I don't think it could really explain anything else. We are literally about two, three weeks away from E3, which is where the game will be revealed if it exists. And you already know you're in the right place to hear if it is. I'm super excited to see if this is going to be the thing, but it's just everything's pointing towards it. The leaks that dropped earlier, and of course these here now. These cars, there's just no world in where this could mean anything else other than a new Forza game. Even if it's not in Mexico, I couldn't care less where it is. As long as we get a new Forza Horizon game, there it is. But it's a pretty big coincidence that there's a freaking desert on the pack and Horizon, but no Horizon number. Maybe they're just rebooting it. <laughs> I don't know. Like, That's look at the desert form. The grass is it's so Forza Horizon. I don't think I've seen anything more Forza Horizon than Forza Horizon itself. 
Now, one, 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 one major interesting fact that I do want to point out about this, of course, it shows both Falls and Halo in the very, very similar areas, at least in first glance. But if you look, there's a lot of deserty cactusy plants available in these shots that they initially show. But on, on the Halo one, the plants are a lot more barren. There's a lot more green. I don't know. It just looks quite different. There are some differences here at play. And again, Halo's the only one that we've seen gameplay on FIFA. Falls is the only one we haven't seen gameplay of. And that's just factualization. Man, it's happening. It's just, it, dude, it's coming. Of course, one of the big mentions of my previous video was the weather stuff that's going to be happening. And now a lot of people, a lot of you guys actually really liked that idea. And I really hope that comes to fruition because honestly, I think it's such a cool idea. And I hope and pray that that's something to do instead of snow. Because if we get snow in Mexico, I'm going to be a little bit annoyed. I'm, I, if I was, I don't know about you. If I go to Mexico, or if I go to a hot place, the last thing I want is snow, okay? Pretty, pretty straightforward. Something a lot of people are worried about as well is the fact that, you know, it is in Mexico. We want Japan! We want this! We want that! Ultimately, the map doesn't matter. Forza's has been, has been quite similar, and it's pretty safe to say a Japan map would be very, very similar to one small city, town, and a lot of off-roading. I just, I think... Let them do this first. Here's what I'm going to say to those people. Let them do this first. Let them do this. Let them do Dubai. Let them do a couple into the next generation. Because this is still going to be on the last gen consoles. Let them wait to pull away, push away, get rid of the last generation and have the new Forza engine that has been worked on before they make Japan. They are pushing the limits of these old gen consoles. There is no way we can get much more out of them. Wait until we have the new Forza engine that Turn 10 is working on and then let us consider having a Japan. When they can have bigger, more diverse, more dense maps in a Forza game because that's something that's really limiting the series right now and also wait till we can have some proper elevation changes because that seems again to be a struggle with a lot of the Forza Horizon titles. So I don't know about you, but I want to wait. And I think Mexico is a good place to do right now. Let's be patient and keep rewatching this bloody clip that we think is Mexico. Because I don't know what else could it be. It's a bloody hypercar. Forza is just about hypercars most of the time. In the desert. What else could it be? All right, I'm done. That's pretty much all the info I've got for you today. If you see anything else, spot anything else, please do let me know. As I said, we're about two or three weeks away from the possible reveal. It's pretty, it's pretty, I'm pretty solid and certain that we will hear something. We have to. It just makes sense. No updates for like proper, up no content updates for months in Forza. It's just a lot of rehash cars and cars that are being built for the next game, which takes no effort to bring them over. Again, no offense to it, but it makes sense that that one they would do towards the end. Anyway, be sure to smash like, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next video. It's going to be an exciting time. Until next time, peace.